What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 67th Jailbreak Update video and today we say rest in peace to iOS 11. So of course in this episode we're going to be talking about Apple killing off iOS 11.4.1, a status update on the upcoming iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12 jailbreak, an untethered iOS 10 jailbreak and more. Now if you haven't seen the past couple jailbreak update episodes make sure you go back and watch those right now. They are up in the cards and down in the description below I have a full playlist with all the jailbreak update videos so make sure you guys stay up to date and watch those before watching this. And if you don't want to miss any other future jailbreak update videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell. All right, so let's get straight to it. So first things first, Apple officially killed off iOS 11.4.1 last night, making it impossible to upgrade or downgrade to iOS 11. Now this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone since it was exactly three weeks after iOS 12 got released. And if you've been watching these jailbreak update videos for a while now, you know that Apple usually stops signing at least seven days after the next version of iOS gets released. And what I mean by at least seven days, if you look at the chart that I just had on the screen and also down in the description below, basically Apple stopped signing a firmware at least seven days after the next one got released. So it's usually between seven to 14 days. This time it was 21 days, but usually you have seven to 14 days. So it was a little bit longer. The 11.4.1 was being signed. So I hope all of you guys got there. You had plenty of time to get there. I told you about it on the channel to get there. And I just hope you guys at least save blobs if you didn't get there so you could possibly upgrade or downgrade to it in the future. Now, with that being said, if you did not get back down to iOS 11.4.1, maybe you updated to iOS 12, you wanted to try out the new features and things like that. If you weren't able to make it back to 11.4.1, in time, you're not completely out of luck. And the reason being is because a jailbreak for iOS 12 is also likely, but the thing is a jailbreak for iOS 11.4.1 will definitely be here before the iOS 12 jailbreak. Just know that it could be a very long time before we get an iOS 12 jailbreak. Just because it's going to happen doesn't mean it's going to happen soon. Meanwhile, the iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak is most likely going to happen soon. And I know a lot of you are going to be saying, well, you've made multiple videos talking about iOS 12 being jailbroken, all these demos and things like that. And yeah, I have, but the thing is, those aren't going to be released to the public. I mean, it's people showing off jailbreaks, but we don't have anything actually public out in the wild right now. We don't have any exploits. We don't have any vulnerabilities, anything out in the wild right now. So for that reason, I don't see an iOS 12 jailbreak coming very soon, but make sure you do stay tuned to the channel and also on Twitter, because I'll be letting you guys know when anything at all gets released related to iOS 12. And speaking of jailbreaking, it's good to see that Luca Tedesco is actually still hacking iPhones in 2018. A couple days ago, he tweeted out, since I'm finally done hacking the 10s Max, I started using it as my daily driver and I gotta say it's a damn fine piece of hardware and to that somebody replied are you implying that a12 is jailbreakable and that you're running unjailed on 10s max and Luca responded to that with I have jailbroken the a12 and yes I'm running stock now so yeah, it's pretty cool to see that yet another person has pwned the iPhone XS and the XS Max has pwned that H12 Bionic chip that some people dubbed unhackable early on. I think it's time for you guys to realize something. Nothing is ever unhackable. Nothing. Now, of course, Luca Tedesco won't be releasing anything. He's been down that road before with Yalu and things like that. So he's not going to be releasing any kind of jailbreak. But of course, like I said, it was just an interesting piece of news that I wanted to share with you guys. And even though he's not going to be releasing anything, we do have a couple of people that we're keeping an eye on that do plan to release things. And that's Ian Beer of Google's Project Zero and also Yumon. And Yumon is one guy I've talked about a few times here on the channel, especially in the past few jailbreak update videos. And if you weren't caught up, you could see the tweet on the screen right now about his upcoming exploits, but he does also advise you to stay on iOS 11 for now. And meanwhile, in somewhat related news, an untethered iOS 10 jailbreak has just recently been demoed on YouTube. So you can see here that a hacker by the name of Dora's used Zerub's iBoot exploit to achieve an untethered jailbreak on an iPhone 5 running iOS 10.3.2. Now, a jailbreak tool hasn't been released, but there is an extensive write-up on the exploit, the iBoot exploit from Zerub, and I will link that below for those interested. But basically, it's just really awesome to see an untethered jailbreak in 2018. Even if it is on iOS 10, just the fact that we can see an untethered jailbreak in 2018 is awesome. Because you guys have heard me say multiple times that I don't see an untethered jailbreak getting released like ever again. But once again, thanks to Zerub's iBoot exploit, an untethered jailbreak is possible, even though it is only on an old version and on 32-bit devices. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is iOS 12.0.1. It just got released yesterday on Monday, and I know a lot of people have been asking me, should I update if I'm trying to jailbreak? Should I stay on iOS 12 or update to 12.0.1 if I'm interested in jailbreaking? And to that, I say always stay on 
on the lowest firmware possible. Stay on iOS 12.0 as long as you can. And of course I say that unless you do have issues with like charge gate and connectivity issues. If that's the case, definitely upgrade because I think stability and things like that are much more important than a potential upcoming jailbreak because you could be having those issues on your phone for months now and you know, just be miserable with your new phone. So I hope that clears some things up. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you that iOS 11.4.1 has been killed off by Apple and also give you a brief status update on what's new with the iOS 12 and the iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak. Hint, it's not really much. Not really much as in really nothing has changed since my last jailbreak update video regarding these upcoming jailbreaks. But of course you guys know I will let you know when that day does come. So make sure you are following me on Twitter and also make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and I will see you guys in the next episode.